How's it going everybody? Tatanoi here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today and this one is going to be a bit different as instead of the usual ranked gameplay we are actually going to be talking about the upcoming balance patch that is going to be coming to the game at some point in August as was announced by the producer of the game Hiroki. Obviously this is something I'm super excited about I couldn't get it off my mind so I thought it'd be a fun idea to go ahead and talk about stuff I'd like to see in advance just so that when we're going through the balance patch once we eventually get it we'll have a reference point for what I was kind of hoping to see. Of course, down below in the comments, you could also feel free to let me know any ideas you have for what you want to see in the upcoming balance patch, what characters you think should be buffed, nerfed, etc. As for me, we are going to be breaking it down in this tier list style format. And let me go over here and uh, explain the tiers I've laid out real quick. Uh, now, I'm no professional list maker, so we might have some overlapping stuff here and there, but I'll break it down in the video as we go on. So first up, we got nerfs. Now, this doesn't have to mean huge nerfs or small nerfs. It's pretty much does anything in between just characters i think should be a little toned down overall and then we have fine as is overall these characters are pretty much in a great spot uh, at least from what i think i do have an asterisk here because of another category we have later on down the line but up next is buffs straight up just make this character a little better let's get them uh you know maybe some uh, frames cut off here and there maybe you know some more hits you know the basic stuff just things that make a character better i'd like to see it then we have the category that's going to kind of mess up the list which is just something new we see this in balance patches all the time um something like tn getting clones always sticks out in my mind as something new i kind of even count jiren's counter in this category of just being something new for a character because it went from a projectile only counter to literally countering everything but <laughs> i don't know that one could just be seen as a straight up buff but tn getting clones was was straight up just something new that was that was wild uh and then we just got a, a bias category this is for this is for stuff that is just too close to my heart to see uh, clearly. Um, I'll probably try to show you where they belong normally, but I'm going to put, the, you, you know, let's just, yeah, let's go. Let's just, let's just get the two in the bias category right now. There he is. Let's just, <laughs> All right, there we go. That's my bias category. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, for each of them being Goku uh, is 2M. If you haven't played the game for a while, originally Goku's 2M was pretty good. Uh, it was a lot of fun to use. And then they slowed it down massively, like a huge slowdown. Very noticeable. And since then, they have improved it a little. But I still miss the OG 2M, which is what I would like to see eventually one day come back and just get a full revert. Still hoping. Uh, obviously, I don't think it does. But hey, if not... Um, maybe they could make it so that his double super combo actually goes back to doing the old damage it did. I know they took away double supers for a reason, but maybe just for Super Saiyan Goku. I don't know. That combo is pretty iconic in my mind. The Kamehameha into the Warp Kamehameha. That's just good stuff. As for Yamcha, the bias here. Obviously, in Season 3, they gave him a way longer cooldown on EX Wolf Fang Fist off on Whiff. Uh, this made it so you could be less random with the move. Overall, the nerf makes complete sense. So, if we're being completely honest, I would probably put Yamcha in the fine as is category um, if we're not having any bias but this is my list dude I'm biased revert that dude let me be stupid with the object let me fly across the screen dude <laughs> all right but that's pretty much going to be the bias category I don't think we'll be touching that anytime soon so that brings us to the nerfs. I have a feeling this is where most people are going to either disagree or agree. Either way, I think this is going to be the most passionate of all the columns. So I'll just go ahead and throw up a few characters there now. I think Broly does need to be looked at a little bit. I feel like he's just so dominant. But also, it's in a weird space where I feel like, you know, that's Broly, you know? You can't really take away Broly's super armor. That's what makes him... Uh, you know, was so, so accurate to the anime's depiction of Broly. Um, but maybe it is a bit too much. His Key Blast game is also just so oppressive. I don't know. Is there a downside to Broly other than his height? I don't know if his height is even that much of a downside anymore. Um, yeah. Broly, just absolutely crazy character. Dominant in both the range game and up close with that super armor. Insane damage off of things like EX Larry to slow level three. Just... The combo, oh my god, I could talk about Broly all day, but um, who else do I want him to join him in the nerfs column? Hmm. I don't know. Honestly, I think the game is pretty balanced, but I'm going to have to say Free. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that would be funny, though. If Frieza got nerfed again. That would be very funny. I really don't know. Maybe Team Gohan as well? That could be something to nerf. He is rather good. I don't know if he's. He's crazy. I've looked I've looked at other people's lists and some people have Gogeta up here, but I don't know if I agree 
I feel like I would put Gogeta in fine as is. I don't know if I would nerf Gogeta at all. But if anything, maybe you could get some slight nerfs. Well, we'll say that. We'll put Gogeta in nerfs just because I think he could get some slight nerfs. There's some stuff uh, to Gogeta that I think is crazy. Um, obviously, he's a very good all-around character, but... I don't know. I don't know. All right, we'll leave him in nerfs for now. We'll see if I can come back to that. As, as anybody else, maybe Gotenks. Maybe Gotenks. Um... Uh, I don't know. I'll leave him. Uh, no, no, no. I'll t no, I'm taking. Uh, but dude, how do I feel about that? <laughs> dude, this list is way harder than I thought it would be already. Later. All right, from now on, instead of going from category to category, let's just go through character to character. 16, I'm going to easily say 16 needs some uh, buffs. Overall, I would love to see some buffs for 16. He was the original top tier of the game, but he's fallen out of favor a lot now. They tried to give him something interesting with his B assist, and I think it was cool. They've also made him slightly better, but if we could just get some overall new buffs for the guy, he could also go into something new category, but I feel like they already tried to go that route with his B assist. I feel like that was pretty unique. 17 is a character that they did do something new with. They let him do stuff in the air, and because of that, I think I might actually have him in fine as is. He's a pretty hard character to use and get the most out of but he's pretty good the thing is next to these two he does kind of stand out a little bit so maybe you can get some slight buffs but for now i think i appreciate where he is android 18 this is a lot easier boom fine as is 18 has some six to oh another easy one 21 oh the androids dude most of the androids i think it, I, I think are in a pretty good spot right now except for 17 who i think could either get some minor buffs or just maybe something new off of his uh hot bag there's a lot there's a lot where you could experiment with 17 bardock Oh man, Bardock. I think Bardock's fine. Bardock's still just as Bardock as ever, dude. But I think, yep, yeah, because of that, we're just going to leave him right there. He's kind of been power crept a little just because I would describe Gogeta as kind of Bardock 3.0. <laughs> Gogeta kind of does the same thing Bardock does. Actually, wait, who who's the other Bardock? Oh no, dude, it's not. It's, it's UI Goku, dude. <laughs> UI Goku is Bardock 3.0. So you know what? You know what, Bardock? Get something new for you. Treat yourself, Bardock. Let Bardock get a little something new. Spruce him up a little bit just because I feel like UI Goku just pretty much does everything Bardock does. So Bardock could go and fine as is, but I'm going to hope Bardock gets something a little new. Uh, maybe a different interaction, something. Uh, but that would be really cool. Beerus right here is actually already pretty good. So he's he's going in fine as, as well. S Broly? That's easy, dude. S Broly's going in buffs. I want to see a top tier S Broly. I want to see really, really powerful S Broly. And he's not bad right now. Don't get me wrong. He probably doesn't need much to be crazy. But just some... I, I mean, buffs are always more exciting than nerfs or something being left the same, right? That's why I'm also probably going to say for Ginyu... I don't know, dude. I'm gonna give you some buffs. Why not? <laughs> I'm a risk guy. I'm gonna regret that later. Frieza, as much as it pains me to say it, I don't like facing Frieza now, but give the guy some buffs. I still think it's stupid that um you can't go into golden more than once a match. I, I don't know. I feel like you should be able to if you want to. I don't think that's a. I don't think that would change the game for Freeze or anything. But I just. I really wonder why they have such a harsh restriction. Because I feel like Golden Frieza is a really hype thing to see in a match, especially when somebody that plays Freeza a lot uh, really goes at it. You know, it's just something that. In events and tournaments, you want to see somebody popping off with Golden Frieza. It would be hype. Cell, still just as good as ever. I actually think Cell is not as popular as he used to be because the other characters are kind of do crazier stuff. But Cell isn't bad at all. In fact, I would say, you know, he's fine as is, as the category states. Cooler? I'm going to say, you know, give Cooler something new. I feel like Cooler could get some buffs as well, but I feel like Cooler is also just a very dry character, if that makes sense. So he could definitely use something to separate himself a bit more from the cast. Um, I don't know what they could do uh, easily without having to add new animations, but just something bombastic, something like a 17 being able to do stuff in the air or something like a, uh, they've actually done this before, right? They let him do his level three on the ground or something. They changed something about the way this man's level three worked. But yeah, something new for Cooler is, is my overall thoughts. 
Um, I want to see cooler, even more popular than ever. Gogeta is also going in the buff category just because I think he could use a little something just to compete with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't think he's at that level, even though I think Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is decently okay. That's the hard part about this list is fighters is pretty well balanced right about now, a few, apart from a few standout characters. But man, fighters is in a really good spot, which is why like... I don't know, dude. Maybe we do have to move these two up. I feel like they're kind of skewing the records. <laughs> I feel like these two are kind of skewing the list a little bit. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll move just Gogeta. <laughs> He's skewing the list, dude. It looks too weird to have Gogeta not in the nerves category. All right, here's another case of a character that I think just gets overshadowed because of Teen Gohan. As you can see, we have Teen Gohan up in our nerves category. And I feel like Adult Gohan, while good, I don't think he's a terrible character. He's got a C beam assist as well, which helps. You know, he's just not Teen Gohan. So I feel like we're also going to put him in the something new category. Maybe, and this one could be easier than all the rest, right? The easy way to do this is maybe they make the level up system even more rewarding. Like uh, for like now, now really all you need is one level and you're good to go with Gohan. But what if you make it like, if you get to like four levels, he's like crazy. And if you get to seven levels, he's just beyond stupid. Uh, something like that I think would go a long way. Even if it was just like, I don't know, to be honest, this might just be me, but what if it, like visually he got like an aura to him at level seven or something? Just, I don't know, it was something spruce it up, make players want to play the character for a reason. Um, I'm stalling because we, we all know what's coming up next. Yikes, it's Goku, but we, you know what, we, hold on. There we go, that one, that one could help out a little bit. <laughs> Goku Black is a character that I feel either, he needs a lot of help to compete, especially among the other Gokus in the game. They're all doing pretty good right now, other than Super Saiyan Goku, I guess, but Goku Black has just been so stagnant over the course of Fighter's entire history, and I actually date this back to when they announced that, um, this was very early in Fighter's history, but they said characters, I can't remember the third one, but they said characters like Super Saiyan Goku, Goku Black, is the area of power they want to try to balance the game around. Um, back then, it kind of made sense, but looking back, Goku was always a way better. Uh, but Goku Black has been stagnant ever since then. They've done small stuff, but he could really use the help. Um, and he is he's struggling, like unlike a lot of other characters, he's struggling in a different way. Um, so hopefully he gets the help he needs uh, one of these days. Um, I know Goku Black players agree with this. As soon as I uploaded that first video uh, talking about the announcement of the balance patch, instantly my comments comments were flooded with Goku Black players pleading and begging like I could do something about it. They were just begging for something above, but dude, I can only hope that they, they come through for you. Now, this might surprise you guys, but Goku GT, I'm actually going to say buffs and not huge buffs or anything like that, but they actually attacked my man Goku GT with a nerf very recently to his A assist. I don't know. I don't know if he needed that or if it was deserved, uh, but you know, maybe revert that. I don't know why they did that to Goku GT. I, underst I understand that he was a very oppressive character back in the day, but they really snuck in that attack on my man. I, I remember just, I don't even know if it's still up, but I did, it was live streaming at the time. I was like, wow, it was just uncalled for. <laughs> Goku Blue, honestly, uh, you could just leave him as is. He's already pretty good. I don't think he needs too much more. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think this one is too much. Uh, um, base Goku, I'll also say the same for... I don't know, base Goku's pretty strong as well. I'm just gonna put him up here. Just, not that this tier list is ordered or anything, but I just wanted to, I just wanna make it clear that base Goku is pretty good, so we'll leave him up there as well. Hit. All right, I'll stop the cap, dude. I think Hit could use small buffs. Uh, and particularly the buffs I wanna see is um, to his ground counter. A lot like, um, you know, I play against Syriax a lot on this channel. A lot of what he brings up is that his ground counter just feels underwhelming, and I would agree. His ground counter isn't anything too crazy. Um, and I don't think it would be wild to give him something. So maybe we should put him in something new, actually. If they act, make his ground counter act anew. But I don't imagine they would do that. I just imagine they would change some of the the data on it or something like that. His ground counter just feels very, um, not as overpowering. Like, his air counter is crazy. Like, it'll just catch you slipping and then he gets some damage off of that. Maybe go into assist combo. So his air counter is all right. Ground counter, now that's something that could be worked on. Janemba, Janemba could use slight buffs to damage. I don't think anything else is really needed. They could maybe do something new with him as well. Uh, just because I feel like maybe not a lot of people are, eh. 
Nah, they don't need to make Janemba any more complex. Just give him a little more damage for the people that are playing him. Jiren! Hey, I'm putting this one in bold italicized text, Arxis. He's good. He's fine as is. Please don't nerf Jiren. <laughs> I don't know why. I just have a fear that they did not mean to make this man, uh, this counter, as good as it is. I still, from the first time I saw it, I thought that they accidentally made it counter Dragon Rushes. Don't change Jiren. He's good as is. I honestly think that from the bottom of my heart, Jiren could compete with the top top of the top um, and, and win. He just has a lot of good stuff to him. Kefla. Hmm. Do I want to admit this? I kind of want to see some Kefla buffs, if I'm being honest. They could keep Kefla. Now, this is just this is just greedy. I want to see something. No, I'm going to put Kefla in something new. I want the speed thing. I want the speed thing to have more to it. Maybe you could speed twice in a line. Like, maybe you could speed once and then speed up. I don't know if that makes sense. Speed horizontally and then speed uh, diagonally up. That would be cool. I don't know. Kefla's just a little bland, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, she's still fun. But just a little bland. So I would like to see something new. Kid Boo. I'm putting Kid Boo as fine as it is. I don't know if he is fine as it is. I listen to a lot of Kid Boo players saying that he they want more damage. Uh, Kid Boo still definitely scares me though. So I'm putting him as fine as it is. Uh, but Kid Boo players, you can let me know down below in the comments what exactly your problems are with this character right now. But as for me, dude, I've had my fill of Kid Boo watching uh, Kid Boo. Um, so I think he's good. Krillin. Honestly, is fine as is. I it, look. You're not even gonna hear any bias from me. Krillin is a very strong character right now. Uh, his assist is crazy. Um, I'll put this one in bold italicized text for the bias too. Please don't nerf Krillin. <laughs> they finally they just kept giving him buff after buff, and now he's wild, dude. I don't think anybody would argue with this. Krillin very strong right now. A assist does amazing work. Um, and also just everything after that. Just the more range they gave him last patch was crazy as well. Gave him options off medium after image that I really appreciated. Majin Buu, I'm gonna say give him some buffs, just a little bit to damage, stuff like that. You could make the same argument that Kid Buu should also be in buffs then, but you know, Majin Buu, just put him in buffs. Roshi again is another character that I am going to put in buffs only because I still feel like if you don't have a super dash in this game or an option like similar enough to it, don't get me wrong, a good a good Roshi player would destroy me, obviously. But I feel like they need to be even more rewarded for them playing without a super dash, if that makes sense. Uh, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, he could, they don't have to be huge buffs. He's already pretty good um, in the right hands, especially. But I would like to see some nice uh, little buffs for Roshi here and there. Nabba! Uh, what do we want to see for Nabba? I kind of want to see buffs for Nabba. You know what? Just straight up buffs. Make Nabba better overall, you know? I was going to say something new, but I don't really know what they could do for, for anything with him. Maybe like a Cyberman Super. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Piccolo, fine as is. Um, he's, his ASS carries. Uh, a lot of teams, dude, the A assist is so good, dude. <laughs> a assist is wild, can't argue with that. You know what, just a, a rapid fire, Super Baby 2, fine as is. Gr another great introduction. Honestly, like I said, I think season three, let's pull out all the season three characters. Gogeta was just all around great, Super Baby 2, super unique. Uh, Master Roshi, super unique. Uh, Kefla uh, is good, but like I said, a little bland. I think that was earlier. And UI Goku is uh, just honestly, he's like a reflection of Gogeta. They started and ended the season with just straight up great Dragon Ball fighters. Tien, I hate to say this because I used him as an example, but I feel like Tien still needs something new. Tien is what I would describe as the most bland character in the game. That doesn't mean he's boring per se. In fact, I enjoy him whenever I play him, but he is very milked. Dude, he is just one note. He does a lot of damage. You do volleyball combos, you know, you get the big damage. But that is exactly why I think he needs something new. And I think his B assist was a good step in that direction. But I would like for them to maybe work that into... I don't know, a different aspect of his game. You know, maybe they give him like a 2S uh, Chaozu call or something like something to speed up a Chaozu call. I don't really know how that could work, but just something that would make uh, Tien and Chaozu a little more interactive would be good. Trunks. Trunks, Trunks, Trunks. I actually think Trunks is pretty good, uh, but I'll put him in the buffs category for minor buffs. Okay, minor buffs for Trunks. I don't want to see him go crazy. I still think Trunks is really good, especially in sparking, but 
you know, we'll, we'll take it. Vegeta Blue, also, I would like to see some minor buffs for. I think they took a good step in the right direction. Again, I would say good, uh, Vegeta Blue is actually somebody they did something new with last patch. But some, some nice smaller buffs would also be appreciated just to lock it up. Vegeta? Super Saiyan Vegeta? Dude, I got no idea. Super Saiyan Vegeta might, might have to go in something new category as well. But he's just so vintage. I think he might be fine. I think he might be fine. I don't really know where I want to, what I want to do with this guy. He's just... Yeah, I'm going to put him in something new just because I think he's a bit boring, but I don't know if I would ask for buffs or, or say he was fine as is. I don't know. But something new. Spruce him up a little bit. Come back to me. Base Vegeta, though, that's that's fine as is. All the Vegeta's getting put in different spots. Uh, Vegito, another fine as is. And uh oh, sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. We're getting some help in. We're getting some help in here. Fu Zamasu does have some pluses. I think Zom Fu Zamasu does huge damage. You know, he has that to him at least. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe like his lightning of absolution, I think should play a bigger role. His flight should play an even bigger role than it already does. Uh, I wish they would focus on those aspects, try to reconstruct them from the ground up. His key blast going over the head of other people also kind of sucks, so maybe they could change that up a little bit. But Fu Zamasu could definitely use some help. Uh, they He almost earns this help. I would almost put him in the buffs and just plead that he does need big buffs, but I'm putting him in the help spot purely because, again, when I uploaded that video, Fu Zamasu players were begging, and I think it's because largely this character's just been ignored. This guy, <laughs> He's just kind of been here dude <laughs> videl for the same reason i think videl's solid but just doesn't have a reflect so you could also maybe put videl in something new maybe if her reflect like if you're not going to make it a reflect maybe make it something unique so it's a dodge right maybe there's a counter you can do off the dodge for a bit of damage like if you successfully dodge an attack uh, or something like that, so you could, like, knee him in the back of the head or kick him in the back of the head, maybe get knocked down or something. I don't know. Maybe that would be too good. Maybe that would be crazy, but, you know, they already have a system for detecting a successful dodge. They have a sound effect for it, so if you can do that, you can make Videl maybe, like, DP them away or something. I don't know, but that would probably be my list here. There's a few things I'm not sure about, including the nerf section. Go tanks. I feel like I might be going a little easy on. Maybe I'm going too hard on Gogeta. But for the most part, I am pretty confident in this list. Obviously, there's a lot of room for discussion on buffs, whether they should be big or small. But I feel like we've discussed in each on which case of what I want to see. Uh, something new. Like I said, this is very vague, but just spice these up. Spice these up. Just pretty much this is add a little spice category. And then the oh, uh, did we discuss where I would put these? I would put Super Saiyan Goku in the buffs category and Yamcha in the fine as is. If we didn't have bias, but we do, and I believe in bias, so. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna leave the list for now. But like I said, down below in the comments, let me know what your personal list would look like. If you wanna make your own, honestly, uh, you can at me with them on Twitter over at Dadadoy on Twitter, or you can just let me know specific characters down below in the comments. While you're down there though, if you're excited to see the future of Dragon Ball Fighters and the balance patch when it drops, definitely make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to stick around to this channel because we will be doing a ton, a ton of videos videos on that when it comes out it is going to be very exciting with that though if you want to watch more videos right away you can check out some more videos that should be on your screen right now other than that i have been dr doya and i will see you in the next one